There are a lot of add-ons in Dead by Daylight, and some of them are completely game-changing, extremely fun, or very gimmicky. Today we are not going to talk about the ones that are good. Today I will show you the worst add-ons for killers in Dead by Daylight, and how I would change them in order to make them useful. I have ranked every single add-on in the game for every killer, and I have tested each one, and the ones you will find in my list are my final conclusion. However, a quick note. I would not talk about any meme add-on because their job is to be bad and to make the video more unique, so let's talk about it. The Artist Charcoal Stick When I first read about this add-on, I thought it would show the survivors the aura of the crows through walls but then completely turn them invisible. Even at that moment, I thought this was a very interesting but niche add-on. Turns out I was wrong. What this add-on actually does is it hides the white aura that the flying crows have once you attack, so a survivor that is far away has no way of knowing where the crows are directed at once you launch them. The only practical use of this add-on is if you are going for a sniper playstyle, and also survivors cannot pinpoint your exact location on the map, but the cost is the aura reveal of the dire crows, which is a pretty big downside for such a small upside. Since now survivors know exactly what direction the dire crow is facing in a tall loop and they can even see the crows being spawned from anywhere on the map. I do not think conceptually this add-on is bad, but it could be way more interesting and better, and also better explained for new artist players. What I would like this add-on to do is to hide the dire crow after one second of it being spawned and remove the aura visibility downside. This would make this add-on very interesting since you could use your dire crows as traps on generators or hallways if you combo it with an idle time increase like chocolate corn or with another add-on like Matthias shoes. It could also be used as a jump scare tool. In the end, it is a green add-on, and survivors still get the global warning that the artist just launched her birds. I think having no downside is fair, and hiding the aura of old idle crows is a cool effect, so I don't think this will end up being broken. Huntress Weighted Head One of the only ways to get the incapacitated status effect, and on paper it sounds good, but on practice, this add-on is quite useless. Incapacitated will remove the survivor's ability to pick up items, use items, work on generators, or interact with other survivors, and that is where this add-on could potentially be strong, because you can camp with Huntress and deny saves in the late game, because if you hit them with a hatchet with this add-on equipped, they cannot start the unhook, another situation a survivor is almost finishing a generator, since with this add-on you will guarantee a down on them. These two situations are so specific and niche that they make this add-on not very consistent, and 99% of the time, useless. My suggestion is pretty simple, keep the incapacitated effect since it is very unique and add another one. Survivors hit with the hatchets, drop their items, so basically a ranged Franklin's demise without the item consumption. And it also combos very well with incapacitated effect since if a survivor gets sniped they cannot pick up their item instantly before you arrive. I think it's a pretty smart add-on change. Ghost Pace Driver License I hope that they would change this add-on with the add-on pass, but it seems like the developers like the current state of the add-on. The issue is that 8 meters is meaningless, and you normally stalk from very close as Ghostface. This add-on is most of the time useless, and it's definitely not worth a very rare rarity, and even less with the current changes on his add-ons that make the rest feel worthwhile to use. I think this add-on is flawed from the very concept of it, so an entire rework would fit it very well. Instead of the 8 meters effect, I thought of a simple change that could actually be very useful in a lot of situations, especially later in the game. Injured survivors cannot reveal you from Night Shroud. I honestly think that might be way too strong, but I would like to see how it plays out in-game. Pig Trap Focused Add-ons My issue with these add-ons is simple, they only add a bonus to survivors that currently have a reverse bear trap in their head. The problem is that these add-ons give bonuses that most of the time are meaningless and their only purpose is to incentivize tunneling a trapped survivor which is a bad choice most of the time as a pick player. First of all, utility blades and rusty attachments penalize a survivor healing after getting a trap on their head, but most survivors will immediately go to search for the key in the boxes, and that incentive increases even more with these add-ons. The effect does not persist after a survivor removes the bird trap. Another add-on with the same issue is razor wires that will injure a survivor if they fail a skill check, but again, survivors that search the boxes are most of the time already injured, and if they are not, then this add-on is still worthless. The only time this add-on could give a game-changing value is if you interrupt a healthy trapped survivor while they are searching a jigsaw box and that is so niche 
and unlikely that it just ruins this add-on. My suggestion is pretty simple. Make the healing penalty add-ons also apply to the ambush attack and for the razor wires, make it so that skill checks inside the boxes are considerably smaller or if you want to go absolutely crazy with it, make it so that if a survivor stops interacting with the box at any time, they get injured if they are healthy. Clown, spirit of heart churn. Can any clown main tell me what the point or use of this add-on is? I have played with each and every clown add-on and the only one that came as close to being as useless as Spirit of Hearthorn was Kerosene Can. Even with Kerosene Can, you could at the very least apply the blindness effect very easy. Spirit of Hearthorn increases the size and spread of the antidote gas, the yellow one. There is no combination that I can think of that is useful with this add-on. And also it is a green add-on, so you are paying extra for no reason. The counterpart of this add-on is Bottle of Chloroform, but that one affects the purple gas and that one is actually useful. My suggestion to make this add-on worthwhile is to keep the effect, but additionally, do not let survivors have the invigorated effect. This way, you can combine it with a yellow bottle focus build, for example the cigar box, and the bigger area of effect will be a benefit for the clown, since survivors cannot take advantage of it. Twins Baby Teeth First of all, it only applies the blindness effect after a survivor removes Victor, not while they have it. You heard that right, it only applies after removing Victor. Second of all, it's only 30 seconds. Clown's Kerosene Can does the same thing just by hitting a survivor with a glass bottle and it's still considered trash. The only use for this add-on is to try and slug survivors so the ones that are not downed would not know where the slug survivors are located. But who I am trying to lie, this add-on is completely worthless. If it was 60 seconds, then I could definitely see a use for it, since it would be absolutely the counter for a perk like Kindred, Empathic Connection or Bond. But want to know the funniest part of this add-on? Originally it was only 15 seconds, they already buffed it to 30 seconds. So just like I said earlier, make it so that a survivor with Victor attached has the blindness effect and increase the blindness duration after removing Victor to 60 seconds. Even then I still think it wouldn't be used as much, but it would turn this add-on into the best blindness add-on in the game. Also, fun fact, Twins has no add-on that applies the mangled status effect. I think they should add the mangled effect the Rusty Needle add-on too, so if we combine these two add-ons, Victor becomes a very oppressive threat, giving you three different status effects. Hillbilly Big Buckle This add-on is completely worthless. Not only does it require you to overheat your chainsaw, which is already bad for Hillbilly, but it only reduces 8 meters of your 32 meter radius. The only other add-on that benefits from a smaller tear radius is Apex Muffler, but the problem is that the chainsaw would be overheated and you cannot use it. There is no perk or add-on that you can combine with this one. It is possibly one of the most useless in the game because you cannot even turn it into any gimmick. I have two suggestions for this add-on. The first one is to keep the spirit of the add-on but give Hillbilly the undetectable status effect while overheated. However, my second suggestion, and I think it is way more interesting, is to give Hillbilly a 5% or a 10% haste movement speed bonus when overheated. This could turn into a really cool gimmick with pick house gloves. Before we go to see the top 3 worst add-ons, I wanted to make a honorable mention to the add-ons of Oni, Freddy and Pyramid Head, who desperately need an add-on pass as soon as possible. Oni has a lot of add-ons that are very bad, especially the lower rarity ones. The worst ones by far are the passive recharge add-ons that I do not think should ever exist on Oni's kit. But the add-ons that are not absolute trash are completely good, like Sculpt, Top Knot, the Speed add-ons combined, the Blood Drop Rate. The only worst add-ons for Pyramid Head is the Range Increase add-ons and maybe the Duration add-ons because of a programming bug that makes them recharge the power faster. But even then, Pyramid Head has the title of the killer with the most boring add-on design in the game. Freddy has some really cool gimmicky add-ons but most of them are very very boring as well. And Freddy conceptually is such a cool character that could have one of the most unique add-ons in the game by far. Sadly what he currently has is pretty boring. Myers, Glass Fragment. You read that right, it only works in Evil Within 1. There is no reason this add-on should ever exist. The only use it has is with Scratched Mirror. But guess what, you will have to sacrifice Boyfriend's memo for it and the only positive thing it gives is aura reading for 3 seconds extra when you see physically a survivor, not when you stalk through walls. So Boyfriend's memo is still the better option. This add-on is completely worthless in my opinion. But the thing that hurts it the most is that it is a very similar to another add-on that is amazing at his. 
which is called the reflective fragment, so new players or inexperienced ones could equip the other one by mistake and end up having one useless add-on for the rest of the match. I honestly think, just like the owner rule mentions, that a lot of Myers add-ons need an add-on pass, so I cannot give this single add-on a suggestion. Myers add-ons are almost all useless, and the ones that are not useless are actually pretty good. It's a bell diagram of add-ons, just like Onis. This specific add-on, however, has way too many problems compared to the rest. Demogorgon, Violet, Waxcap. This add-on is very very bad, it is a green add-on and it only gives half a second of undetectable duration. The undetectable is already bad enough by default because the Demogorgon is loud as and this add-on is negligible. It's so bad that there's nothing positive I can say about it, it's bad and by far the worst Demogorgon add-on and one of the worst add-ons in the game. Always ignore it in the blood web. To save this add-on, Give it the effect of the Vermilion webcap and buff it to 5 seconds of undetectable and then change Vermilion webcap to completely silence the global sound effect every time Demogorgon uses his portal. This would make Demogorgon have an interesting undetectable build and even provide viability on high MMR with his portals. Nemesis Liquor Tongue Say hello to the worst add-on to be implemented in Dead by Daylight. Why is it so bad? I will let Reddit user Clank810 explain the math of it. I do not know who designed it, I do not know who used it, and then who approved it. It is an insult to any Nemesis player. It is completely worthless, absolutely trash. It's like having nothing equipped, and I am not exaggerating. This add-on is a green rarity add-on, and it is worse than any common add-on in the game, not including the meme ones. They could change this effect to whatever they want and it would still be better than the add-on that we currently have in the game. It's ridiculously bad. Well, that were my choices of the worst add-ons in the game. Do you think one of the add-ons is actually underrated and has a special use? Or do you think I missed on one add-on that is completely trash as well? Comment down below, I will read each one of your comments. And also, don't forget to check my content if you enjoy it. If you like this vid, I will also make another part, but this time talking about the best add-ons in the game. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.